Hello everyone, this is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in this video, I'll talk about Google's new large language model, which is called Pathways Language Model. It is also known as Palm Model. This model is trained on 540 billion parameters and this model can perform many natural language processing tasks like generating code from text and answering math word problems and explaining a joke and common sense reasoning and translations these kind of things and guys prior to this pathway language model there are already different language models by different companies for example this gpt3 uh, developed by open ai and it have 175 billion parameters right and then we have megatron turing nlg by uh, this microsoft and nvidia and this model have 530 billion parameters and now Google released this palm with 540 billion parameter and this is the largest model largest language model and guys this model is a dense model and all the parameters have been used during inference okay and now let's talk about the data set they have used to train this model so the total data set size of palm is 780 billion tokens whereas the previous language models like gpt gpt3 have a data set of 300 billion tokens and megatron turing nlg have a data set of 339 billion tokens so the training data set of palm consists of high quality web documents social media conversations in different languages and books github code wikipedia and many more with the lossless vocabulary this lossless vocabulary is known for preserving white spaces and splitting out of vocabulary unicode characters into byte so guys from this training data we can assume that this palm model can handle multiple languages and it can write code for us and guys for writing a code it used 196 gb of source code from different languages like java javascript html python c plus plus and c right and this model can write code and this model can even convert the one programming language code uh, from one language to another language and palm is trained only on five percent of data which is related to coding rest 90 percent are other things and on the basis of this 5% only, this model is uh, writing code for us and uh, it is doing it quite well, right? And guys, this uh, Palm model showed multiple breakthrough capabilities on different difficult tasks such as language understanding and generation and multi-step arithmetic code related tasks and common sense reasoning and then we have translations even this model is capable of generating detailed explanations for different scenarios with the help of multi-step logic inference and deep language and world knowledge okay now it achieved all this with great scaling and they have introduced one new technique which is called chain of thought prompting so they have combined this chain of thought prompting their new concept with scaling and they achieved such great results now let's understand this chain of thought prompting which was introduced by google in this model let's understand that so for that let's take one example of math word problem that required reasoning okay and let's see how palm model handle this kind of problem with uh, this chain of thought prompting okay so normally just see this picture normally what happen is we prompt a model with a question and an answer and then we ask question to a model and model gives us answer so you can see here the answer which a model gave is incorrect okay now let's see similar example um, how the similar example can be solved using chain of thought prompting okay now chain of thought while using this chain of thought prompting the model is tasked not only to give you the answer to a question but it is you know also provide us reason how it arrives this answer right so what happens is palm model will get input question and will provide a 
output and will also provide a reason okay so what we are basically doing is we are providing input question answer and reason to a palm model and then for the next question palm model will follow the same pattern and will give a reason to its answer so basically what is happening is model will receive this palm model will receive few examples in the form of input question output and the reason and these these input question output and a reason we will append pre append it to the input to a model okay and then it will follow this pattern and next time when you'll ask a question to a model model will give you a output and it will also provide you a reason and you can see in this example we have given a question right and a answer and a reason and then we ask the question to a model and then model is replying us giving us an output which is correct output and it is also providing us a reason so this is how this chain of thought prompting works now let me share one more example of this chain of thought prompting and here uh, uh, i'm showing you the comparison of uh, output which gpt3 gave on that input and which palm gave on that input so the input to a model is Jennifer looked out her window and sees a really cool cloud below her. She unbuckles her seat belt and heads to the bathroom. Is Jennifer prob uh, probably traveling more than 300 miles per hour relative to the earth? So this is the input to the model. Now palm model replied, palm model gave us a output. Uh, 300 miles per hour is about 480 kilometers per hour. This is about the speed of a commercial airplane. Clouds are usually below airplanes. So Jennifer is probably on an airplane. So the answer is yes. This is the answer by Palm model. What an incredible answer, right? Now, let's see what is the answer given by GPT-3. So the GPT-3 replied, uh, answered, no. Because an aer aer airplane typically travels around 500 to 600 miles per hour and the bathroom is usually located in the back of the plane. This is the answer by GPT. Now you can see like how Palm model is giving us such a uh, excellent output because the uh, author said that they combined this scaling and chain of thought prompting to get such good results okay now let's uh, see uh, let's talk about scaling right and and guys this palm model there are different versions of this palm model there are three versions of this palm model first one is palm model with 8 billion parameters second palm model is uh, with 62 billion parameters and the third palm model is with 540 billion parameters now google created different versions of palm uh, in order to evaluate the benefit of scale right just see this image after a certain size of model model is able to do new tasks just see this um, english proverb and language sequ logical sequence sorry so when author upscaled the model from 62 billion parameters to 540 billion parameters then model learned to work on these areas so basically this scaling unlocked the capability of a model and this model achieved such good results because of the model greatest scale when combined with the chain of thought prompting and chain of thought prompting increased the accuracy by a large margin as per the author of the paper right so uh, this is what about scaling and guys there is one more approach they have used in this paper which is called few shot approach now the goal with this few shot approach is to approximate how human learn different things and can apply different bit of knowledge together in order to solve you know new problem that has never been occurred before so with this few shot <coughs> sorry so with this few shot approach machine can use the knowledge that it has to solve new problems now let's see how, let's see an example one example and understand how this few short approach is working in palm model so just see here we are giving a problem and then a solution to a model again problem 
solution right so what we are doing is we have a problem solution problem solution and then we have a problem and now the solution model should give us a solution of this problem now what we are doing is model will receive few solved examples as prompt which is pre appended to the input and now when we give um, this now now we have pre appended these examples you know problem solution problem solution and we pre appended uh, these examples as a prompt and now when you'll ask uh, when you'll give a input to a model model will follow the pattern of that you know examples which we have given and will provide us a an answer it is just like a pattern completion sort of thing right so this is how this few short approach work and guys um, yeah now how they train this model okay uh, palm model how they train this model so for training this model in total they have used 644 different tpu v4 chips right so basically they have two pods and each pod have 3072 tpus uh, v4 chips okay and each pod will have a copy of all the parameters and for the communication between these two pods they are using a pathway system which was introduced by google in their previous paper so they distributed every batch across these two pods for forward and backward backward propagation the individual chips in the pod contain individual part of the model right and uh, then the gradients are transported to the other pods and vice versa so this is how they are uh, training this um, palm model so uh, that's it guys i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching